Are you tired of struggling to maintain a strong and fulfilling relationship with your partner? Do you wish you had a roadmap to guide you through the ups and downs of marriage and parenthood? Look no further than, We Overmeet by Dev Ale and Kadeen Ellis, a New York Times bestseller that offers a refreshing and counterintuitive approach to building a successful relationship. If you're wondering what's in it for me, when it comes to reading, We Over Me, let us tell you that Dev Ale and Kadeen Ellis offer hard-won relationship wisdom that can benefit anyone. Despite facing numerous challenges throughout their 12-year marriage and 20-year relationship, they have found a way to build a strong and fulfilling romance by prioritizing each other's needs over their own. Their approach may be unconventional, but it has proven to be effective in their own lives. In this video summary of We Over Me, we'll explore how this approach can work for you and your relationship. We'll unpack the practical strategies and insights shared by the Ellis's and show you how to implement them in your own life. So, whether you are in a long-term relationship, marriage, or simply looking to improve your interpersonal skills, the wisdom contained in We Over Me can benefit you in countless ways. One of the key takeaways from the book is the importance of learning how to function as a team. As Kadeen says, you have to be able to work together. You have to be able to function as a team, because that's what marriage is. You're no longer two individuals, you're one entity. This means learning how to communicate effectively, supporting each other through challenges, and making decisions together as a unit. Another important lesson is the need to keep talking about sex. As Kadeen writes, sex is a fundamental part of a relationship. It's the glue that holds everything together. But too often, Couples neglect this aspect of their relationship, or assume that they don't need to discuss it. The Ellis's argue that open communication about sex is essential for maintaining a healthy and fulfilling relationship. One of the quotes from the book that really captures the essence of their message is, the kids ain't first. The marriage is first, and that's how the kids will be okay. It's a reminder that, while parenting is important, your relationship with your partner should always come first if you want to build a strong and lasting foundation for your family. In addition to the valuable content contained in We Over Me, the audiobook version of the book is narrated by the authors themselves in their own voices. This adds an extra layer of authenticity and intimacy to the reading experience, allowing listeners to feel like they are having a conversation with Dev Ale and Kadeem. What's even better is that the audiobook is available for free with no charges, allowing anyone to access this valuable resource without breaking the bank. Simply follow the link in the description to listen to the audiobook and start improving your relationship today. But don't stop there. If you found this video summary and the We Over Me audiobook helpful, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great content on relationships personal growth, and self-improvement. By subscribing, you'll never miss out on the latest insights and strategies for building a better life and stronger relationships. The power of putting we before me in relationships. In today's world, relationships can be challenging to navigate, and it's common to focus on our own needs and wants. However, according to Dev Ale and Kadeen Ellis, also known as the Ellis's, prioritizing the needs of the relationship over our own desires is key to a happy and fulfilling relationship. The Ellis's are a podcasting duo and social media sensations who have been married for over 10 years. They have used their experience in relationships to come up with a unique approach to building a strong and lasting partnership. Their philosophy centers around putting we before me which means prioritizing the needs of the relationship as a whole over individual desires. Many people make the mistake of focusing on what their partner can do for them, whether it's emotional support or financial stability. However, this mindset often leads to one-sided relationships that lack growth and fulfillment. Instead, the Ellis's recommend asking yourself if you have the capacity and desire to serve your partner and then acting on those desires. 
By doing so, you're prioritizing the needs of the relationship and fostering an environment of mutual growth and support. At first, it may seem counterintuitive to focus on your partner's needs over your own. However, the Ellises argue that when both partners prioritize each other, they will both feel appreciated, recognized, and loved. This approach helps to build a strong foundation for the relationship and fosters growth for both individuals. The Ellises describe marriage as a service-based industry, meaning that both partners must serve each other for the relationship to succeed. This mindset requires a certain level of selflessness and a willingness to put the needs of the relationship before individual desires. However, when both partners adopt this approach, they will lift each other up, and the relationship will reach far greater heights than either could have dreamed of achieving on their own. In summary, the Ellis' philosophy of putting we before me is a powerful approach to building a strong and lasting relationship. By prioritizing the needs of the relationship over individual desires, both partners will feel appreciated, recognized, and loved. This mindset fosters an environment of mutual growth and support, helping the relationship to reach its full potential. In addition to committing to your partner, you must also commit to the idea of marriage itself. People are constantly changing, and part of committing to a long-term relationship is accepting that your partner may not always be the same person you fell in love with. However, by committing to the institution of marriage, you are promising to weather these changes together and to work through any challenges that may arise. It's also important to remember that getting into a relationship won't solve all of your personal problems. Many people turn to relationships as a way to escape the challenges of single life, but this is a mistake. It's crucial to continue working on yourself as an individual even as you work on building a partnership with your significant other. Dev Ale and Kadeen often stress the importance of self-care tools like meditation, journaling, and therapy, which can help you work through your personal issues and become a better partner in the long run. As Dev Ale says, you have to love marriage more than you love your partner, because marriage is what holds you and your partner together even when you're not feeling particularly loving towards each other. In other words, love is not just a feeling, but a commitment to putting in the work to make your relationship last. Creating your own relationship blueprint. Why comparing yourself to other couples is a mistake. Comparing your relationship to other couples is a common trap that many fall into. Dev Ale and Kadeen Ellis encounter many couples who believe that their relationship isn't as good as it should be often due to comparing themselves to the idealized, picture-perfect relationships they see on social media or in movies. However, this can lead to feeling inadequate and discontent in your own relationship. The Ellises believe that love and partnership are not one-size-fits-all concepts, and that trying to force your relationship into a predefined mold is a recipe for disaster. Instead, they advise that you and your partner create your own unique blueprint for what works for your relationship. What works for other couples may not necessarily work for you, and that's okay. After all, Kadeen and Dev Ale have been together for over 20 years, and they credit much of their success to crafting their own relationship blueprint. Remember, the most important thing is that your relationship is built on mutual respect, trust, and communication. Don't let external expectations shape your relationship. Instead, focus on what makes your partnership thrive and embrace your own unique love story. Kadeen and Dev Ale are a couple that have been together since they were teenagers. When they first started dating, they broke all the traditional rules of relationships. They both agreed that they didn't want to be exclusive and they both fooled around with other people before finally settling down. It was Kadeen, not Dev Ale, who first initiated physical intimacy. When Kadeen got pregnant at 19 and decided to have an abortion, the couple made a conscious decision to stay together and support each other through the trauma that followed. As their relationship grew more committed, 
they realized that they needed to step away from the traditional romantic blueprints they had learned from their families. For Devale, he had learned how to win arguments by watching his parents fight. He thought that Kadeen wouldn't respect him if he didn't win every argument, but he soon realized that this was a toxic pattern that he needed to unlearn. On the other hand, Kadeen's mother was stuck in domestic habits that she resented. She warned Kadeen not to fall into the trap of cooking for Dev Ale. But after some reflection, Kadeen realized that she enjoyed making meals for Dev Ale and that it made her feel rewarded and recognized for her efforts. She understood that her mother's advice was well-intentioned, but ultimately rejected it. Both Kadeen and Dev Ale grew up in households where tensions were only aired behind closed doors. In public, their families maintained a perfect image. But neither of them enjoyed this pressure, and they realized that being open and honest about their relationship was much healthier. That's why they've become known and loved for sharing their relationship, warts and all, with the public. Kadeen and DeVale's relationship is a testament to the fact that following your own rules and being your own blueprint is key to a successful and fulfilling relationship. If you try to emulate another couple, you'll never be the best version of yourselves. Breaking Gender Norms A partnership built on service and shared goals. In 2011, Kadeen had to work long hours at a makeup store during Thanksgiving, leaving Dev Ale and their young son, Jackson, behind. This was a challenging time for the couple, as they had just gotten married in 2010 and found out that Kadeen was pregnant during their Jamaican honeymoon. Dev Ale was transitioning away from his career in the NFL and trying to establish himself as an entrepreneur and actor. With the transition proving tougher than expected and no regular paychecks coming in from the NFL, finances were tight for the young couple. Kadeen worked full-time at Mac while pregnant to secure her family's income and health insurance, while Dev Ale took on the role of a stay-at-home dad. However, this period also brought a lot of resentment to the surface for both of them. They had internalized the societal expectation that the man should be the primary breadwinner while the woman stayed at home with the child. Dev Ale felt the need to contribute more financially, while Kadeen wanted to spend more time with their son. Instead of communicating their expectations and frustrations with each other, they became irritable, combative, and withdrawn. It was only when they started to communicate more openly that they realized that letting go of their internalized ideas about gender roles would help them move away from fixating on where they thought their partnership should be and instead focus on where it actually was. They acknowledged that each was doing their best to serve the other in their own way, given the circumstances. By working through their challenges together and supporting each other, they were able to strengthen their bond and build a firm foundation for their relationship. Their experience shows that it's important to communicate openly and honestly with your partner, especially during challenging times. It's also important to let go of societal expectations and rigid gender roles and focus on what works best for your relationship as a team. By doing so, couples can build a strong foundation and weather any challenges that come their way. Furthermore, Dev Ale and Kadeen realized that by putting aside their egos and working towards their common goals, they could achieve even greater success. Once Dev Ale secured his family's insurance by getting enough acting work to join the union, he encouraged Kadeen to take a leap of faith and pursue her own career as a freelance makeup artist. She eventually made more money than Dev Ale did in his acting career, but it was only possible because of the foundation he had laid down for her. In a healthy relationship, both partners should be able to achieve their individual goals while supporting each other's aspirations. Despite living their relationship openly on social media, Kadeen and Dev Ale have faced criticism from those who view their service-oriented dynamic as submissive or unequal. However, they choose not to let these criticisms affect them. Throughout their relationship, they have continued to prioritize each other's needs and support each other in achieving their dreams. 
Although their approach may differ from traditional norms, they remain content and fulfilled in their partnership. Keep having sex. How Devale and Kadeen keep the spark alive in their relationship. The Ellises understand that physical intimacy is a crucial component of a healthy, happy relationship. They acknowledge that, like many couples, their sex life has gone through its ups and downs. But instead of accepting the notion that the passion must necessarily die down with time, they actively work to keep things spicy. Even though they have a high level of sexual chemistry, Devale and Kadeen sometimes struggle to align their sex drives. During their early days, their mismatched sex drives led to many on-again, off-again moments in their relationship. After having children, both of them became busier and more stressed out, which made it even more challenging to find time and energy for sex. Kadeen had too much on her mind to feel sexual, while Devale needed the reassurance and release that sex provides. However, the Ellises were determined not to let their sex life fall by the wayside. They realized that intimacy is essential to feeling connected and that making time for each other is crucial, no matter how busy they are. So they started scheduling sex like they would any other appointment, making sure to carve out time for it even in the midst of their hectic lives. They also found ways to keep things interesting in the bedroom, exploring different fantasies and trying new things. They prioritize communication and honesty, even if it means having difficult conversations about their sexual desires and boundaries. By taking an active, intentional approach to their sex life, the Ellises have been able to keep the passion alive in their relationship. They are not afraid to acknowledge that it takes work, but they believe that the effort is worth it. But how did they break this cycle and learn to live with their out-of-sync libidos? In order to break the cycle of feeling out of sync when it came to their libidos, Devale and Kadeen adopted several strategies that helped them prioritize physical intimacy in their relationship. First and foremost, they made a conscious effort to take the guilt out of discussing their wants, needs, and boundaries around sex. This meant that Kadeen could openly communicate that she didn't always want sex without worrying that Devale would feel rejected or unattractive, and Devale could express his desire for more sex without making Kadeen feel pressured. Secondly, they were comfortable having the same conversation about sex over and over again. They recognized that having the same discussion repeatedly wasn't necessarily a problem, but not talking about sex would be a major issue in their relationship. Therefore, they persisted in discussing their needs and desires, even if the conversation didn't shift or change much. Lastly, they each learned how they could sexually serve one another without sacrificing their own needs and desires. Kadeen opened up about the roadblocks to intimacy that her hormones and postpartum depression were creating, and sought help from doctors and therapists to recover her sex drive. She also found fun, non-penetrative ways to please Devale. Meanwhile, Devale acknowledged that his wife's libido worked differently than his own, and supported her in finding new turn-ons that were better suited to the different stages of her life. They discovered that travel and new experiences provided a break from routine, and really got Kadeen in the mood. Therefore, they started making kid-free quality time, and weekend getaways a regular part of their routine. In conclusion, We Over Me by Devale and Kadeen Ellis offers a powerful and counterintuitive approach to building a successful and enduring relationship. By focusing on your partner's needs, working as a team, prioritizing communication and intimacy, and making your own rules, you can create a partnership that is strong, supportive, and fulfilling. And don't forget, the audiobook version of We Over Me is available for free with no charges, narrated by the authors themselves in their own voices. So, if you want to dive deeper into the content and hear the Ellis's personal experiences and insights, be sure to follow the link in the description to access the audiobook. Finally, if you found this video summary helpful and inspiring, please consider subscribing to our channel for more great content on relationships personal growth, and self-improvement. By subscribing, 
you'll never miss out on the latest insights and strategies for building a better life and stronger relationships. Thank you for watching, take care. And goodbye.